Hello one and hello all and welcome to another crafting adventure and today um, well as you can see I have sustained more injuries on my hand uh, this was from falling and hitting my hand into the door frame piece of advice don't do that and today I've decided to cheer myself up in the best way possible yes we are going to make some dinosaurs uh, dinosaurs very well known for their uh, therapeutic effects and making these when you are in pain is the best way to feel better. Uh, this is another one of the collections from <coughs> Handscraft, yes! Uh, as with the animals, sea animals and the other ones we did before, this is the collection of dinosaurs. I was saving this for a special occasion and today feels like just that day. Uh, we have a selection of six to choose from. We've got the old T-Rex, the P Paris Sorolophus, please excuse my pronunciation. We've got a Brontosaurus, Spinosaurus, Stegosaurus, and a Triceratops. Now for me, uh, in this style of kit, I don't think I've ever seen a Brontosaurus or a Stegosaurus done. So these are the two I want to make today. Now I have pre-removed the plastic wrapping of this box so I can open it. Nice and easily. All right, and inside we've got the six packs. Uh, let's find the ones that we want to do. Here's the old Brontosaurus and the Stegosaurus. We'll put these four to the side. Um, let's find out how many parts have we got. This one is a 39 piece puzzle and this is a 43. So they're about the same, uh, hopefully not too difficult. Well, Stegosaurus is on top, so we're gonna try that one. So first thing we gotta do, open this bad boy up. And as any of our viewers will know, uh, these hands craft kits always contain ba -ba -ba -bum, two sheets of lovingly cut out parts, a small piece of sandpaper just in case you need it, and the cover sheet with the instructions on the back. Uh, as you can see on the side here, they indicate these two sheets. One will be Usually one is A, yeah, top one's A, bottom one's B, and it just makes it easy to find the parts you need for each stage. Um, additionally, they do always have this note where if the connections are quite loose, you can simply put a bit of paper between them to make it a bit tighter. All right, so let's take a look at part one. Looks like we're gonna be using a lot of A's and a few B's. Um, A3, A4, A1, B4, B2, A5, and B5. All right. Let's get those pieces ready. All right, we've got all the pieces here. Uh, we need to pop out the eyes. Boo, boo, boo. I do like doing this. Ah, the little pop they get when you actually come out of the holder is very satisfying. All right, slide this on there. These connections are usually uh, very well done. Um, not too stiff, but not too loose. Uh, but as I said, if they are a little bit loose, you can just put a little bit of paper between them to tighten it up. The head goes on the neck. Uh, this is a bit of a smaller one, so you don't want to break it. Okay, perfect. Uh, this is the front leg thing. Don't really think it's called a pelvis on a dinosaur. And uh, this one goes on this side. This one goes on this side. Wonderful. All right, already taking shape. Pop that down there. Oh, fell over. Stage two, what do we need? Okay, we're gonna need this sort of piece in the middle there. The shoulder, uh, hip bones, shoulder blades. I'm not really sure what they are. Back legs and the tail, shouldn't be too hard. So we're gonna take this bit on there. The shoulder pieces, which side goes up? All right, so it sticks up on the side should come together this one yep that way okay want to make sure you get them oh them on the right way round next we're gonna attach your legs oh again um when you do this yourself don't do it through a camera it's very difficult to line up the pieces looking through a viewfinder uh, oh, okay, and then just need to attach the tail. Oh, 
Lovely. All right, does it stand up? Oh, it does, it does. I do like the sort of uh, unique spine shape on this one. Um, looks very painful if a human wants to try it. Um, okay, that one's done. Stage three. Okay, we're going to be putting on the old spine pieces here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in total. Okay, so I made a little hiccup there, I should say. Um, the picture only shows ten parts, but it actually indicates starting from piece number one, you go all the way across to piece number 19 at the end there. It also does highlight some of the pieces have these little notches in, and you just want to alternate which side they are on, because that is where the final spine back plates will be going. Um, as you can see, the double-sided ones, they have a number on both sides. 16 is the position on the back, and 28 would be doo -doo 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 -doo, piece number 28. So then that one will slide on the other side there. Um, and as you can see, they just go along the back like that, and hopefully should look like this in the end. Let's find out if mine does. Da, 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 da. The Stegosaurus is complete, and as you can see, the spines all fit on quite nicely. Uh, I'm pretty sure the little pointy bit goes pointing forward, because that way it actually fits between each of the spines. Uh, be careful, you push them on hard enough, and as I said before, if they are loose, slot some paper in or glue them on, however you wish. Also, this passes the sturdiness test, yes, even in a very light table shake, it doesn't fall over, which is all you need from a dinosaur. I love it, this design is amazing, never seen a stegosaurus done like this before, or stegosaurus skeleton, I should say. And yeah, that's something, it's not too big, would look quite nice as a display piece. Let's pop him over there. For now, ba -ba -ba, we have to make a start on the old Brontosaurus. Um, I think, looking at it, the design is quite similar. Neck is longer, tail is longer, and there's no uh, back pieces. But let's find out if it is. The plastic prison has been removed. Uh, here's our sandpaper, we're not going to need that our instructions, and our two sheets of pieces. Lovely. All right, let's turn this over and see what we have to do. Okay, uh, very similar. The headpiece slides on there, slides on the body, get the legs on. All right, that shouldn't take a moment. There you are. Uh, very similar to the Stegosaurus, uh, just the head is a little bit larger, I think. Um, and the legs... Well, the legs may even be exactly the same, but you can see that the neck is much, much longer here. All right, let's pop it down over there. So next, we're taking a similar cross piece, two shoulders going on. Oh, this one does have the extra leg bones there. Um, I imagine this dinosaur was very heavy and needed the extra support. All right, so we got to put this cross bit on the center, add those two bits, and then the back legs, and hopefully it should be able to stand up. Um, oh, I also think it's probably a good idea to add the tail so you've got some balance. All right, that shouldn't take very long at all. Before I connect it all together, I did just want to point out that this one actually has the uh, spine piece uh, on one of the leg pieces, uh, unlike the uh, Stegosaurus there. And I do quite like that. That means that there will be a consistent uh, number or spacing between all of the spines, uh, whereas on the Stegosaurus... Uh, wow, well, that's a bit tight. There you go. Uh, there was one missing in the center, although you can't actually see it because the big plates are there. But all right, does that stand up? Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, I'm guessing we just follow the numbers to do this back. Is that correct? All right, so, yep, we start at the front, go all the way back, and you're done. All right, well... Let's see how difficult that is. Um, I would point out that the spine pieces do have numbers on here, but the actual parts don't. So um, if you're going to do one of these, take them out one at a time, or it can be quite confusing. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. After putting the 24 spinal pieces on, the Brontosaurus, is it Brontosaurus? Yes, is complete. And ba -ba 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 passes the shake test. Again, this is a very nice dinosaur skeleton design. Um, very similar to the old Stegosaurus here, but different enough 
to mean they can stand side by side and look amazing. Can't really see it in the camera. We'll change the position in a moment to give a better view. Uh, this one is very, very large, about a foot long, 12 inches. Um, but you know, I like it. It's quite thin, so it's uh, one of those things that's quite easy to display. And all the pieces went together nicely as well. No cut fingers, a little bit of dust, but uh, you know, when you're using wood like this, dust is an inevitability. Um, so there you are. That is how to make a lovely stegosaurus and a lovely brontosaurus there. Um, oh, also I want to point out, as always with these uh, handscraft kits, uh, that all the parts popped out very, very easily there. You can see none of the little knobbly bits broke off, meaning cleaning is very nice. Um, whoop. Don't need that anymore though. So there you are, yes. Uh, these are some of the handscraft dinosaur kits. Um, and well, if you fancy making some yourself, I will put uh, a link to their website and Facebook page in the comments of this video. So thank you all very much for watching. And let's just quickly change the camera angle. Well, can't get a better angle than this uh, from this position. But as you can see, the Brontosaurus is significantly longer than the older Stegosaurus here. Um, although if we move him out of the way, you do get a good view of the Stegosaurus. There he is. Uh, in his full glory. Uh, even if you wanted to, you could paint these up, you could uh, put clay on them to give them a, a skin and have a very colourful dinosaur themed display. Let's put him in the background there. Um, well, there you are. As I said, uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, do check the link out below if you want to get some yourself. Uh, have a great week and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next time.